with the big turnover in the first half for a touchdown. And then Pons comes back with another one. Uh, shortly thereafter, uh, we made a couple nice plays in the first half and had a two-score lead at times. But we, we, we weren't playing very well. We just weren't executing. And uh, um, quarterback's got a few plays that he, you know, he'll learn from. Uh, it wasn't that there weren't things there. They did change their tendencies on us quite a bit. They gone, went from a man coverage uh, team to a zone team. So at some point in the game, you almost like throw out 50% of the game plan and just start shooting them from the hip. And that's what, uh, the second half open with the interception. Uh, so it was tight. Uh, we respond with a nice drive and a score. That was a point. I think one of those drives, we had three runs for third down conversions. And it was, then it became more about uh, sometimes you just got to throw that game plan out. Like, okay, what works against this, right? And, uh, but it, it still comes down to the guys up front and the running back, Justice Ellison, 29 carries. The line did a great job up front. And, uh, you know, the punt return was good. Defensive stops kept coming back, you know, coming up with plays. And, uh, you know, we gutted it out. We gutted it out. And uh, we're 8-0. And... Uh, it was a great team effort. And I told the team after the game, I said, really good teams, championship teams, they find ways to win games. And that's what we did today. We found ways to win a game. Jack, any left in this? I guess, was this is, is, in terms of complimentary football, the defense scoring a touchdown, special teams setting up a touchdown, you know, the way you talk about adjusting in the second half, is this maybe, a, in terms of all phases, as much of kind of contribution as you've gotten in all three phases in a game this year? Well, I don't know if that's complimentary football. Complimentary football to me is you're playing well and you're balanced on offense and doing all the things you got to do in all three phases. What I would say is the defense really saved us in early in the game, saved us, and then came up with uh, some big turnovers. And then, uh, you know, and then at the end of the game, the offense got the run game going, started eating some clock and kept them off the field. And special teams with the big return – you know, did their part, and we had some good uh, plays on special teams. So, you know, I think this is a close team uh, with a lot of competitive character, guys that, uh, you know, really want to be good, have the right stuff, and uh, they found a way to win. Oh, you mentioned Justice um, in the second half. What made you kind of go to him kind of almost exclusively there? I mean, that's the most carries I think you've had a running back having in going back three seasons. Um, just what were you seeing him and up from him that you knew you could uh, lean on him in that second half? Yeah, there was a time we used to give that guy the ball 42 times a game, and but we won't go there. Um, you know, Lawton um, had a little tweak. And, and didn't feel like he was 100%. And uh, Justin had the hot hand. Uh, you know, we had Kalon take, take a few carries too. Uh, but he, I thought he was terrific. Terrific. Allison. Matt, I'm left to talk. Uh, Coach, obviously Taven got the start today. Some good throws, some good plays, but obviously some, a little bit of inconsistency. Just your thoughts on, I know you've watched the film yet, but just your kind of first-plus thoughts on how he played. Yeah, I mean... Uh, you know, like you said, he made some good plays. He left as many plays out there. And uh, it's just doing what your coach should do, reading your key or, you know, don't forget to send the motion, those kind of things. Time in front of the Rick. Kurt, the offensive line, you know, it, it, they've been getting good attention, but this seems like a day that they kind of won it for the offense a little bit if you want to look at it that way. Uh, what did you think of how they were able to create the opportunities for Justice to run and, and also Taven on a few runs as well? Yeah, I don't think we gave up a sack. I think the quarterback got hit one time, and we did it. Uh, you know, we've been very consistent uh, on the offensive line, and we matched up well against Washington, honestly. Uh, but, you know, those five guys have stayed on the field. Uh, they got a lot of snaps together, uh, which really helps, uh, you know, at that position. Um, I thought they were great. Yeah, that, that 14 uh, play, 75 yard drive in the third quarter gave you the two score lead and a little bit of a, a breathing room, I guess. What changed during that drive that enabled you guys to be able to consistently move the ball? Um, we really just changed some things there. I think we had three running conversions on third down there, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, we, we, we played football differently. And ate a lot of clock, 
and uh, probably caught him off guard on a few of those third downs when we ran the ball. Uh, Coach, D'Angelo Pons, obviously a freshman All-American last year, but <clears throat> what makes him so good, the instinctual play on the screen for, for the pick six, and yeah. then just his athleticism on that second interception? You know, he, he, he's got good talent, um, and, but he's got competitive character. You know, he, he's a competitor, and he wants to be great. And, uh, you know, he's got day-in, day-out consistency. You know, he does the things that help him improve on a daily basis. And, like, that's his goal. He wants to be the best football player he can be. And he loves the process and everything that goes into that. And he's intelligent. And uh, so, and he comes from an area down there in Miami where, you know, those guys growing up, high school, uh, you know, a lot of pride down there in South Florida about being a baller. You know what I mean? And he's a baller. Seth, on your left, exactly. Yeah, Kurt, I know uh, you got up a little upset with Miles Price for letting that one punt drop in, and then obviously he broke off the big return right after that. Just, I guess, you know, how much of a spark plug is he and how big of a moment is that to really help put the game away? Yeah, I told him that between the negative 20-yard return and the big return, they came out to zero net yards. <laughs> no, that punt return was a huge play in the second half. And uh, we, we had some good blocks, and he hit the hole. And, uh, you know, we made some timely plays in the second half. And special teams played a big role. Is that Pete front right and Pete? You talked about D'Angelo Pons and his season last year. That comes with expectations. What have you seen from him that have been able to handle those expectations? And how have you seen him handle himself off the field for such a young player? Yeah, I mean, he's a good player, and he wanted to step up and play against, uh, you know, competition at the highest level, uh, like all the other ones did. And, uh, you know, he's showed that he's more than capable. Pete, back left and ready. Kurt, up here. Um, what makes this O-line so special? You've addressed it a little bit, but what, what really makes them special? Uh, you know, I, uh, Bob does a great job coaching them. They're all real tough, hard-nosed kind of guys. And... Uh, they function well together. And uh, Bob keeps it simple. And, uh, you know, we don't have missed assignments, things of that nature. And uh, they're tough guys. They're tough guys. Jeff, row two, and then we'll wrap with Daniel. Yeah, Coach, just big picture. You, you guys are 8 no. You haven't trailed all year. You know, how well are you guys playing? How good of a season is this turning into? I mean, you are what your record says you are, you know. Um, Believe me, <laughs> we're going to put that tape on. It ain't going to be real pretty a lot of times on offense. And it won't be on defense either. There will be a lot of mistakes out there. So, uh, you know, but uh, we're off to a bad start, I guess. Daniel, front last one. You kind of mentioned, you know, the whole week that you all had a win for this week to really matter. But just having the outside eyes, having – just the whole, you know, attention part of it. Have you kind of had a chance to reflect at all about the magnitude of it all? Well, you know, game day came, and uh, we talked to the team briefly about it on Monday and uh, really didn't dwell on it after that. And uh, I dealt with it a little bit after the walkthrough yesterday evening with the team for about 15 seconds. And because, uh, you know, that, that's a great thing to have at your university, the exposure and all that stuff. But it's real easy for your team to kind of like lose their focus on like what they're there for, right? And have just seen it happen, <laughs> I mean, over and over and over. And uh, we overcame it and we won. So it was a good day. All right, thanks, coach. Players in the way. <coughs>